active campaign feedback and testimonials. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to follow up with your customers so that you can collect feedback and testimonials. We wanna keep it super simple, and to do so, we're gonna use Google Forms. Now, to get people to those Google Forms, we're going to use uh, a survey that's loosely based on Net Promoter Score. And there's a link there. If you go there, you can visit that, and it will generate the code that you will put into your active campaign emails to get people surveyed. So let's dive right in. So to start with, inside your active campaign account, you're gonna to wanna to create an automation. I'm calling it survey. And based on the way I do my business, I can't say for certain when somebody's done, when we're done with a project uh, with somebody. So I would manually put somebody into this automation. If your business is more, let's say a little more structured, in other words, after X amount of time, somebody's done working with you, um, you could trigger that um, so that this survey goes a certain amount of time after that. But really, it's all it is is sending them an email. That's it. Now, the downside here is we're not actually going to collect what number score they did, but we are going to be able to collect feedback or testimonial based on what number they chose. So let's start by simply creating an email asking them to take a survey. So now all you wanna do is invite them to take a survey. Now, next step is we actually wanna drop in a survey and to do so, we're gonna use the HTML block down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it just below that text. Now I need to add something to it and that's where this comes in handy. So I need to fill this out and then I will get some code to put back in there. But before I do that, <clears throat> I need to create uh, a survey or a form in Google, actually two of them, one for people that give feedback and the other for people that provide a testimonial. Now, here's the secret, if you will. If somebody has a score of, for instance, one to seven or one to eight, I want feedback from them. If they give me an eight through 10 or a nine through 10, I want a testimonial. So I'm just gonna pre-fill as much as I can out here. And I'm gonna say one through seven, I want feedback from you. Eight through 10, I would like a testimonial. And I'm gonna put in my business name. And I'm not gonna, these are the default headlines right here and the subheadline. those aren't required. The testimonial URL, you absolutely have to put in there, the feedback URL. Now here's a little secret. You could simply ask for feedback here and then make both of these URLs the same. But what I wanna accomplish is I want, you know, I wanna ask the people that gave glowing recommendation, if you will, for a testimonial and the people that weren't, I wanna get their feedback. So let's go now to Google Forms. So go ahead and click on create, start a new form. Or no, you know, let's call this feedback. This is uh, gonna be the feedback URL and I'm gonna call it feedback. And the first question is simply going to be, and I want it to be a paragraph, that's appropriate. And I am going to ask for email, though I am not going to make it required. So let's just type in the word email and um, I'm not gonna enable this because that means they have to sign in to Gmail or Google, I believe. So I do want the email. I'm not gonna force it, um, but I do, I'm gonna leave, actually, I do not wanna force it because I really wanna get some honest feedback. If somebody has something not nice to say, let me know what it is. So this is gonna be the short answer text while this is a long answer text. And that's it, that's, that's the extent of my feedback survey. I'm gonna go up here to send. I'm gonna to go to here. Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna copy that one. And now I wanna go back into here, and this is my feedback one. So I'm done with that. Okay, so now I wanna create another one. So I'm gonna go ahead here, and of course you can make it look better um, if you wanna style it a little bit better. And I'm gonna call this feedback one. And uh, much like the last one, uh, the first question I wanna have is, and it's a paragraph, long answer text. Now the next one's gonna be a slight, this is the difference right here. May we use this, and I wanna do a checkbox. That's all I really wanna do, a checkbox, and I don't want it ticked. 
Let's just do yes. If they say yes, great. If they don't tick it, that's fine. Now for email, I want to add in that, but this time I do want it required. And again, I'm not going to enable this. It's a short answer. This one is required. So we're here. Where is the preview? Okay, so it's unticked, and this is the only one required. Okay, so that's my um, testimonial feedback, if you will. So let's go ahead and get that link. Copy that. Go back into here. And I'm going to paste that in. So I've selected anyone that gives me a 1 through 7 is going to get the feedback. Anyone that's giving me an 8 through 10 is going to give me the testimony of the URL. So go ahead and submit. And all you want to do is copy this here and paste it into your active campaign email. You can, you can click on download here and that will give you a text file that you can save off or simply just click the copy text button. That means it's copied back into active campaign and right here, just click on this, paste it in and it will have all the right code to generate the, um, survey, if you will. And yes, I know that 10 looks bad. It's wrong. It's not formatted right. And actually the color in between isn't quite right. But when I receive it in email, it looks the way I would expect. Now I probably want to put in, uh, I don't know. So from here, we now have, um, an email set up, an automation with a survey built in, if you will. And depending on what they click, either one through seven in this case, or eight through 10, we'll send them to a different Google form where either I'm collecting feedback or hopefully a testimonial. I definitely want to test this out. I definitely want to test it out on mobile, on desktop, different uh, email service providers. So I'm going to start by sending one to my Yahoo account. Okay, so here's the email. Uh, it's got my name in there. And now I, I can click on any of these and hopefully it takes me to the right survey. Now, I'm already logged into Google Form, so I may, may show a little different than I expect. There's the one through 10, perfect. And let's go back to here, seven through whatever. And there, I got the right form. That's how we collect ActiveCampaign feedback and testimonial from customers.